How long have you been working as an artist for? Professionally, seven years. Seven years? Yeah, and it's probably just a couple of years before that that I really decided that this was what I wanted to do. So then I spent some time practicing and put together a portfolio, went to the OCAD, yeah, then from that point on, I started taking it seriously, and by my the end of the first year, I was selling works professionally. So I like, got. Uh, so were you drawing as a young kid, like as a, when you were when you were a teenager? Were you doing a lot of drawings? Not necessarily to this magnitude, right? Because you know it's obviously taking you a little while to master the skill. When I was younger, I was drawing a lot like this. Like I used to copy all the comic books and make my own comic books and write them all, and this is all I ever cared about. But as I was going into high school, uh, they kind of encouraged me to go and study English more because they thought art's not really a good way to make a career. So I kind of came in and out of art for a while until a bit later on that I met people who were making money and going to college studying in art. And that's like when I started to put the portfolio together, when I realized that you actually could do it. And then I've just been doing it ever since. Do you have any uh, schooling on art, like a uh, university or college? Well, I went to Ontario College of Art and Design for a bit, and I started to go into uh, illustration. And then I tried drawing and painting, but all the drawing stuff, it wasn't good for me. So I went into film and video instead and learned how to make animations. Because in the video course, they didn't care what or how I was drawing. They just wanted to show me how to animate it. Whereas in the drawing and painting courses, too many studies. We're going to do green apples today. We're going to do a blue study. And all I wanted to do was make comics. So the film studies were much better. And I did that part-time for a couple of years. And then after that, I started working in the streets. And I was already doing... I did a few gallery exhibitions in the Nathan Phillips Square show. And then I started working in the streets as well. Yeah, so you make a living off of this. Yeah, it's been a full-time job for uh, four years and almost a full-time job for the previous three before that, too. Like, fast, too, right? Eh? What were some of uh, your inspirations as a uh, Mostly comics and cartoons. I loved all the Spider-Man and Superman books, and then I found all the uh, Vertigo comics when I got a bit older. And I loved uh, Japanese and animes and also uh, all kinds of movies like Surrealist and uh, Murder Mystery, Hitchcock, all that stuff. So basically movies and comic books has always been my favorite thing. I was never too much into art as, well, as much, but uh, just sort of went that way a bit. Was, was there any like uh, specific people, like for instance like in one comic book you would say, I love so-and-so for doing that? Spider-Man comics? Well, I like, in all of those, there's like so many different little influences in the comics, but uh, the two big ones would be uh, getting uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. A teacher gave me that when I was like 15, and that's when I first seen stuff that was like a little more uh, political or important or realistic or heavy than comics. The so comics are really good too, though. They're amazing with all the things that they talk about in there. But, uh, but the Stedman one, when that black and white and that ink thing was the first time that I sort of wanted, saw this kind of stuff and wanted to be part of that. And then uh, many years later, I seen the Robert Crumb documentary. And Robert Crumb was also doing very similar, like in the streets, making comics and cartoons and about a little bit more pushed farther than Spider-Man or Superman. So those were the two most influential uh, artists on me for sure. Bad. So how much would you sell one of these pieces for? These are 80 bucks. 80 bucks? How long does it take? Uh... Uh, I try not to spend more than two hours, but then ones like this are like, I did this probably in 15 or 20 minutes, and then these ones are two hours, and they all sell for 80, so I try to balance and never spend more than that time. So, it, you know, it, it, I can work it out to being a reasonable hourly rate without, without killing myself. Still make nice pieces. So I noticed you like a lot of eyes, especially in all your work. Yeah, well, I like to draw about the people in the city, and uh, it's like a big way that we communicate and a big part of uh, our life and the whole idea of watching each other and people watching and all the rest. I really like to draw people, so the so, eyes come out a lot in it. Yeah. So in, in a way, is it is this any way related to Big Brother kind of? Well, I mean.